guys, so I'm here and I get a battle of the boxes. I got some birch box and I got some ipsy going on this week. So um, let's get into, we'll do birch box first because birch box got some stuff going on. Um, Birchbox recently sent out an email saying there's going to be a change in their point system. So basically starting July, um, they're going to be doing your first five reviews from your Birchbox. You'll get 10 points for each, which is 50 points. And then anything thereafter, you no longer earn points for reviews. You can earn points for review, um, referring, and purchasing and things like that, but no longer for reviewing your box. Now that to me is a really big problem because I love Birchbox, been with Birchbox for a few years now, and um, I like them because of the point system. They have nice things. Sometimes they're kind of meh, and sometimes they're really good, and sometimes they're just like, okay, whatever. Um, and a lot of times they're, they're good. Not excellent, but they're good. Um, but being able to review the items that you get in your box, you can get pretty much it's like if you if you get five items, sometimes you get six items. You get five, it's five dollars worth of points, you know? So a hundred points is ten dollars. So every box, like I was saying, you would earn basically five dollars towards the birch box shop, which is awesome. So that in itself was great. That was a way that I was getting a lot of. Um, high-end full-size products when I first started getting into high-end products and um, it opened up a whole new world for me um, but now if you're not going to be getting the points for your reviews and and things like that it's kind of like it's not really worth it because I have always said that Birchbox was so worth it because their point system is awesome I mean you you it's basically you're paying five bucks for your box and you get to buy some full-size products when you accumulate enough points. Like right now, I think I have I have $90 worth of points that I've been just saving up, saving up from all my points. And um, 90 bucks, you can get a lot of stuff with $90. And it's, you know, it's like free money, but at the same time, you're doing stuff for Birchbox, you're doing stuff for yourself. You know, I don't know what the deal is, why they're changing it up. Maybe they want to get out of the subscription service or something. Maybe they're just pissing everybody off. I went to the Facebook page and it was... People were just pissed, really, really pissed. So anyway, once my annual subscription runs out, I'll probably not renew Birchbox because it's not gonna be worth it to me anymore. So yeah, I'll be done with that. I'm gonna stick to the bigger boxes and um, Ipsy also. I may stop doing Ipsy once my subscription one runs out for Ipsy too because I have an annual for both of them. So let's get into the birch box. I do love this um, box. It's really, really pretty. Um, all these nice geometrical um, uh, pastel colors. I don't know what is up with the color in this thing. I can't get it straight today. All right, inside the box we have the card. Um, and on the back side it's got all the um, things in here. Okay, so they sent in a little ad here for what is this? The brow, new brow collection from Benefit. Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll figure out the name in a second. So that's that. It looks good. Her eyebrows look good. Don't they? What a difference. <clears throat> All right. So the first thing I'm going to take out here is from Evalogy. It's an intensive blemish serum. So um, the full size of this bad boy right here is $35 for a full size. This is just a 0.33 sample. Um, I think, I'm pretty sure I used it already and it's like very, very minty if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it was very, very minty and very cooling. The next thing we got in here is from Oribe Dry Texturizing Spray. Um, and I like their products. They, they work really nicely. They're not like crunchy and they don't flake or anything like this. I haven't used this one but I assume this one will be really nice as well. Then we have from Laura Geller. Um, this is a baked gelato swir swirl illuminator and it's in gilded honey. This is a really pretty one and I think that I would personally love to use this as um, an eyeshadow um, all over lid color. It is so pretty. Okay, and then in here, there's a sample of the Benefit Gimme Brow. That's what it was called. 
And this one is in, I think it's the second shade, the medium one. They have one, three, and five. And I have the one in shade three, and it just came into this little box right here. So I did use the Gimme Brow before in the other packaging. So this is, this is a nice little cute change up. And the last thing in here is from Monster, and this is a black liner, another black liner. I have so many black liners, it's crazy. Um, but this is a very nice black, black, really nice black one, and it's long lasting as well. It kind of stays put once it's on, so, and that's really, really nice. It's always nice to get a liner that stays put when you put it on. I often have a really hard time putting liner on because by midday, like on the edge of my eyes, it's already running in the crease of my eyes. So it's really nice to have one that lasts a nice long time. So it's not a bad box from Birchbox. I mean, I like it. I think it was a pretty decent box. So we have the Gimme Brow sample, the liner, the um, highlighter. This is like a full size of um, their other, I don't know if their highlighter is that size but they have other items, their shadows, and I think the blushes are just a tad bit larger. Um, and then the hair item and the acne um, treatment. So it's a nice box. It's a shame birch box that you're ruining it for everybody. Okay, let's get into Ipsy. Ipsy has the coolest bag. Um, even the card kind of matches the bag. It just says Rebel Rebel on it from Ipsy. So here is the bag. And on the bag, it's just got like graffiti all over it. It says makeup, makeup, what else does it say on here? Lids, oh, lipstick. <laughs> all right, let me open the bag. I'm amusing myself too much. I like the bag, it's cute. Inside the bag, let's see. I have this Clarice Sea Salt Solution for your face. It's a deep pore detox, activated charcoal exfoliating mask. I've gotten this in, I want to say BoxyCharm or something like that, and I got a, a nice big size, a full size, um, but I never used it. So it's actually good that it's a small size. I'll, I'll probably try this one out. I think when I had opened it, it was like, yeah, it was such a mess and it was so intimidating for me that I was scared to, I didn't know what to do with it. I think you just pour the powder in your hand and then you add water and kind of mix it and then you put it on your face because it's it's like a super fine powder. All right, so the next thing is from Be A Bombshell and this is a really beautiful color. This is in Secret. So I'm not sure what type uh, because the card doesn't ever say anything but it just says Be A Bombshell Cosmetics and the color is in Secret Pout Potion. It's a pout potion and the color is Secret. So anyway, so I just put it on my lips and it gives a nice little sheen to it. I like it a lot actually. And um, it's not sticky, it's very creamy and I like it. And it has like this scent to it. What is the scent? It's kind of sweet and it's not, it's not plasticky or anything like that. It's really nice, I like this. All right, next we have a Formula X Polish. It's a mini and it's a, uh, let's see. It's called Wing Woman. I don't like the color. I'm not into this color. This is not my thing. I don't like bright reds or this is like, maybe it's an in between red and pink, but it's not my shade. So I'll probably give it to somebody. So this is an eyeshadow from the Meat Matte palette, I'm assuming, because it says Meat Matte Trimony. And this is in Matte Kumar. It's a burgundy red kind of a shade. And it's nice. Um, I'll have to work with it and see. It's kind of like a cranberry color. So that's cool. I mean, I'm into those shades. I like these kind of shades for my eyes and stuff like that. And the last thing we got in here is from Crown Brush. This is a three-tone bronzer. I don't know about all that. It's three tones. It looks like it's got like a highlight, a blush, and a bronzer on it. Um, the blush is horribly bright pink. It's like Barbie pink color. You can't put any kind of brush in there just to get one of the stripes. You're gonna have to get all three mixed in together. Um, maybe I'm guessing that might be the purpose because it says three-tone bronzer, but I don't know. I kind of mix, uh, I guess, if you mix it all in together with the pink and the highlight and everything, I don't know, I guess 
Um, when you rub it all together, the pink kind of just gets everywhere and it mixes it all in there together. But it does give a really pretty like rose tone kind of bronzy color. I don't know if I would want to put that all over my face or anything. I don't know. It's I'll test it out. It's pretty though. So we have the cleansing sea salt deep pore cleanser, the formula X polish, this trio kind of, it says bronzer, the burgundy um, eyeshadow from the balm, the meat matte palette I'm assuming, and then this beautiful lip kind of pout color. All right, so we have Ipsy and we have Birchbox, and hmm, they're both nice boxes. Um, you know, if it was a different color polish, I would be more happy. Um, but I like both the boxes. I really like the lip color for the um, from Be a Bombshell a lot. The eyeshadow is pretty cool over here. I don't think I have that one. I thought I was gonna have it, um, but I don't because it's from a different palette and I don't have that shade. So, um, and this highlighter over here, I really like that. I would definitely use it as a lid color. Um, everything in the box is quite nice. So it's kind of iffy iffy, but yeah, even still, I don't think that I would renew with Birchbox once it's over because of the point system, because Birchbox sometimes has really, really tiny samples. Um, but anyway, let me know what you guys think and uh, that's it. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you again in another video. Bye.